What's up guys, it's 21 degrees Celsius here and today we have got the Leatherman Juice Pro here in-house. Brand new from eBay, this thing was about $222 US, which equates to about 327 Australian dollars in total to get it shipped all the way here. Um, yeah, so to get things started, this is a production line of the Juice Pro, which is actually was actually succeeded by the Juice XE6, which has less tools. The reason why it was succeeded is because I guess this was discontinued and they replaced it with the Juice XE6, which actually has two less tools, which I literally just said. This discontinued in 2005, and it is 2017 at the time of filming this, meaning that this thing is at least 12 years old. Now the box is 2007, so it'd be about 10 years old, but you know, 12, 10 years, thereabouts, this thing is an old tool, nevertheless. Let's see if it justifies the price. And first of all, I'm probably not gonna EDC this because it's more of a collector's item rather than a um, actual item to use. So moving the box aside, we have the Juice Pro itself in the storm gray color, which I think looks a lot better than the new colors they've come out with, uh, which include the there used to be a purple one, Storm Purple, I believe. So here we've got Leatherman, we've got Juice Pro. That's really nice. Put that to the side. What else is in the box? We've got the user manual. So we have the user manual here for the Juice C2, S2, KF4, CS4, and the XE6, which is what I used to have, but then uh, unfortunately cannot find that no longer, any longer. Can't find that any longer. So this will actually fit into the same sheaths as all the other juices, and it also can do the thing where you sheath it with the pliers open. Now, so what I like about this tool, while we move this aside, is pretty much all the tools are accessible from the outside. Now, they're not quick access, but they are, access they are accessible from the outside. So starting off, let's cover the basis, which actually states that the Leatherman Juice XE6 as opposed to this Pro, has 18 functions. And this thing has two more tools than the XE6, but those two tools also provide just two more functions, making this tool 20 functions in total. And for the size being, you know, half my hand, as opposed to the surge being pretty much three quarters to, you know, seven, six, seven eighths of my hand, um, this thing is a lot smaller, the fact that you get 20 functions, while the surge only gives you one more than that at 21. So this thing is very close to being the, you know, the most function, the, the highest functionality multi-tool from Leatherman. Again, it is no longer in production, so finding it is not easy, and prices for this is pretty much more expensive than anything you'll find currently. But yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into this. So starting off, we have the straight edge blade, which I believe is 420 HC carbon, HC standing for high carbon steel. Now in terms of how well that, that fares, it's pretty much just for light, medium use. In fact, this whole tool is pretty much based around camping and stuff. So sharpening, you know, the, the decent edge retention, is it's, it's all there, but uh, you're not going to get anything special compared to say 154cm or S30V or depending on what your, your flavoring of steels are. Next we have the awl combined with the saw. I'm going to the awl, I don't think this awl was that well integrated on any of the juices to be honest. Now this is probably one of the weakest points of the tool, one of the weakest, there are a few weak points of this tool. Um, but yeah, the awl is not too great because yes, this is still like an unboxing slash review the awl is not that great. I've tried using it on leather, it just doesn't really work. The sharpness of it is decent, to say the least, but that's pretty much all. Yes, pun intended. Moving on, actually, we will compare that to this Victorinox tool, which is kind of ridiculous, but yes, all Victorinoxes that have the awl have this awl. And this all is a lot, lot sharper. As you can see from the edge, the edge is actually very sharp, blade sharpness. And the point is a real point. So in terms of the, uh, got the key ring stuck, God. 
In terms of the functionality of the oil, I would probably take a Swiss Army knife oil any day. This brand is Victorinox. I think Wenger makes similar things. I don't even know if Wenger is still in business, but yes. This oil, not that great. Moving on, we have the saw, which has to be opened up once the oil is open, because actually the oil folds over the saw. And you can take the saw out. So there is a little nail thing. And there we go. In terms of the saw's thickness, it is very thin, actually. Pretty much half as thin as any other tool on this, because of the way it's designed and the way it kind of gets folded over by the awl. That is why this is like half the size. The awl is also technically half the size here, but then it gets thicker because it folds over the saw. In terms of the use of this saw, I've never really used it. Some people don't like the shape of it. I think it's okay. And it does taper from thin to thick here, which I've heard can reduce friction while cutting through wood. So what you have to do is put that bad boy down, make sure it stays to its side, and then you can fold the awl over top of it. Now, one thing that shows that this tool is definitely an old tool, maybe definitely, it's not a used tool, it is a brand new tool still in the box, and pretty much no scratches anywhere, is just how things kind of creak and crack. And they're not rusty, there are a couple little rust spots, and there are also a couple little areas where the oil has started leaking out from the joints. But also here on the scissors, you can feel it and you can even hear it. It's kind of it's kind of like it crinkles, kind of squeaks a little bit as well. In terms of the actual scissors, yes, they work. And these scissors are one of the best scissors on any Leatherman multi tool. The juice scissors are awesome. Now these micro serrations, I'd say the only scissors that are better than this could be the Leatherman Surge or the Leatherman uh, Skeletal, no, not the Skeletal, the Style CS, which comes with scissors as its main tool. And also you can tell that this is an old tool because I'm pushing the scissors down and from here they do not close. You gotta keep pushing them, keep pushing them. Now that is a bit of an oddity of the scissors. I guess the scissors were affected the most in terms of closing. But uh, yeah, just something to note of if, you, if you're in a buy, an old tool like this. They, I still see a couple on eBay that are brand spanking new. Uh, the prices have gone up ever since I bought it, but uh, the company called Smart Knives actually still sells these brand new. Next, we have the Sheep's Foot Serrated Blade, which is on the other side. So we finished this side. Now we have the Sheep's Foot Serrated Blade, which I think is also, I believe is also 420HC seal, but don't quote me on that. It is sharpened on one side, which does have a name to blades that are sharpened on one side while the straight edge blade was sharpened on both sides. So this is more of like a rescue cutter blade. In terms of these indentations on the back of the sheep's foot blade, the serrated blade, that actually just tells you that you are about to deploy the sheep's foot blade rather than a straight edge blade which just is fully straight edge. So currently, as you can tell, I'm going through all the tools that the XC6 has and then I'll reach right at the end where I'll show you the two tools that um, the XC6 does not have. Maybe not right at the end, but while I get to them. Next, we have the file. So we've got the diamond coated file on this side, the very fine file. Then we've got kind of the uh, higher grit file, which is more for filing down things like wood and other things. And then we have the metal saw here, right here. So that, that just acts like as a sim simple metal saw. No complaints there. Um, next, we have the Bottle slash can opener. Okay, here is the other weak point of the tool. Bottle opener, perfectly fine. Can opener, that is, yeah, it's not sharp. Now, yes, can openers, you can use the force, and this is, I guess, thin enough for you to start opening cans, but it's just not as easy as, again, example here, be the Victorinox. If any Victorinox has a bottle opener, you will be experiencing very very sharp you can even see that it's it's sharpened and i can feel it as well it's pretty much blade sharpness and also reaches a point which is very very sharp like i cannot run my finger on this like that i will cut it with this thing and i'm not even joking like i'm putting a lot of force on that it is not sharp at all i can feel it it is kind of spiky so it does lead to a point again not as much as this and it's sort of a different design but it is not sharp because i'm i'm actually you can see my finger pressing down on it and it just it does not cut my finger this one will in terms of bottle opener they're about the same so bottle opener no complaints can opener 
some complaints. I've tried using it before. It's uh, mediocre at best. Moving on, we have the corkscrew. And this part actually acts as the assist to add some extra leverage when you're pulling the cork out. So you would screw your cork in. And again, you have to open the can opener slash bottle opener with the assist to access the corkscrew, which I think is a bit more reasonable because this is also the assist. While before with the awl and the saw, the awl really is an, ass an assist for the saw. So you put this on your cork and then you would start talking. This would say stationary and then you kind of pop it out. And again, this thing actually bends further. So it actually bends further that way. So when you're pulling it out, it goes even further. And this would still be about parallel. And then once you're there, you can pretty much pop it out. Moving on, you can actually see what makes this the Leatherman Juice Pro. That is one of the extra tools there, and it is called the foil cutter. Now, it's quite hard to get in there, but if you have nails in, I don't really have that big nails. In fact, you just kind of dig your finger in there. It's not too hard, and you can get at this thing known as the foil cutter. Again, all these tools lock with spring locking, so there is no actual locking mechanism, but they're just spring locked. It is this highly serrated, very small, quite thin as well, but it's actually very, very strong compared to the saw, uh, very sturdy little blade known as the foil cutter. Now it's not serrated right at the tip and it is slightly curved, but it has these micro, well not micro serrations, but it has these very visible serrations and has that curved look. And it's called a foil cutter for a reason. It's, it's really good for cutting foil. But other than that, I don't really know the full uses for it. So uh, take that as you will, the foil cutter. Again, only available on the Juice Pro. So that, is, that actually covers the whole outside area, except for one tool, which I'll get to. And moving one quick step, moving from the tools, we'll actually talk about the font. The font is actually printed on, so a lot of use of this tool will actually warrant the font actually fading away. So the font will fade away if you use this too much. But again, I won't be using this. In fact, my hands are getting really sweaty. I won't be using this. This is more of a, my, collect, uh, my collector's item. Uh, I will be using my XC6 if I ever find it, but for this Pro, we'll not be using it. Next, we have the appliers, and again, you can kind of tell this thing is an old tool. You can see oil leaking out of it. It is, it is stiff, and you can see a bit of corrosion. Now, in terms of the pliers, the Juice has, had, has never had the strongest set in terms of you can feel it kind of bending when you press really hard, which I'm not going to do. But you can feel it kind of bending when you press really hard at this point. Also, the uh, wire cutters aren't the sharpest thing in the world, but they get the job done. Moving on to the inside of the handles, we have the three flathead screwdrivers. So we have medium flathead. And again, these things are ridiculously stiff. In fact, I've been breaking my nails today, just trying to get these out. We've got the small flathead, so the precision flathead, and then we've got the big flathead, which is sometimes I know people use it as sort of a sort of um, crowbar kind of leverage. Damn, I can't, it's, it's, off the, it's off the top of my head. I, I can't really think of the name. And yeah, on the other side, we have got this thing. So that's the Phillips head screwdriver. It's a nice 3D Phillips head. You can close up the tool as such and use it like that. Or... I've seen people do something like this to get a bit more reach because you can hold it for like from here. If the area is big enough for you to fit this whole thing in, you can just fit it in and do it like that. So there we go. And right next to that is the lanyard ring, which I won't be able to pull out with my fingers because, well, it's, it's, it's really, it's in there quite deep. But yeah, there is the lanyard ring that you would pull out, which pretty much is a loop. And moving on to that last tool that actually kind of went over right here where the straight edge blade is on the XE6 there is nothing here but on the Juice Pro there's actually a little plastic insert that fits beside that blade and inside that plastic insert as you can see here is a set pretty hidden set I might add of tweezers usable usable tweezers so overall, I'd say in terms of the functionality, again, this thing is, it has it all. It pretty much has everything you want in terms of a juice. It is the highest 
range in terms of a Leatherman. This thing is pretty much second best in terms of functionality. 20 functions on this, as opposed to 18 on the XC6 and 21 on the uh, Leatherman Surge. But again, the Surge is, I'd say, pretty much twice as big. This is actually quite a bit thicker than a Surge, I believe. Actually, it could even be the same thickness. But yeah, this thing is definitely bigger. I mean, it is definitely, for its size, a really, really nice functionality multi-tool. So as you can see, this is the Juice Pro. Is it worth $300? And what do I like about it? Again, this is a review slash unboxing. Because I've had the XC6, I've used the XC6, I pretty much know what it is. This is the XC6 with tweezers and the foil cutter. And comes in this nice storm grey colour, which you pretty, pretty much can't find anymore on the XC6. It used to be available, but not anymore. And it's just more of a vintage style. Is this worth the money? I would say, as a collector, absolutely. Absolutely worth your money. As a collector, this is a really good... And from Smart Knives, i got to give them props. Smart Knives on eBay, i got to give them props. This is... If, if this is not brand new... Even if this was slightly used, this is in damn good condition. But I believe, you know, I hope, I'm hoping they're abiding by their brand new listing because it was in the box and it does look brand new. In fact, again, the only thing that I've noticed that might be a bump is actually right here. There's a little bump here. I don't know if you can see the light shining off that, but on the aluminium handles, you can see there's a little bump there, which actually looks like where the um, corkscrew slams down. But there is, the corkscrew doesn't actually make contact with that, so I don't know why that bump is there. But it is. But I'm pretty sure that's probably just maybe a manufacturing error or maybe the corkscrew slammed down a few times. Who knows? But for collectors, I'd say this is absolutely worth the money. About 200 and, you know, you probably see the highest at about 250 US dollars. I'd say, yes, I would get this again if given the option, but I do already have it. Will I be returning it? Absolutely not. This thing is wonderful. I've had the XE6, it's awesome. This is probably going to be a lot better, but again, not gonna be using it, more of a collector. So it is really nice to have the, the literal top of the range juice in my hands, the Juice XE6 from Leatherman. The, sorry, the Juice Pro, <laughs> I already have the XE6. The Juice Pro from Leatherman is one of a kind. And I mean, if you want it, I can probably link it down below if it's still available, but who knows. So guys, it is 2017, you know, at least 10 years since this thing has gone out of production. This started production in 2002 as a Costco exclusive, and we are discussing it here today because I'm a Leatherman advocate. I wanna share this with you guys. I love Leatherman products and the Juice Pro. Honestly, I was eyeing this out about four years ago and I could not find any brand new variants of the Juice Pro four years ago. I guess people were stocking it up and gonna sell it for a lot more later, which they did. You know, this versus something like a charge is pretty much double the price or something like that. Double the price for something smaller and probably not as useful, but again, it's more of a collector's item. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video on the Leatherman Juice Pro. It's more of an unboxing and not even review, I'd say unboxing and overview, little experiences, a bit of history about the Leatherman Juice Pro. Honestly, I'm sorry if it's been a bit rambled and if I've repeated myself because I'm off script, I kind of just sat down as a Leatherman advocate um, and a bit of a fanboy, I guess, and just talked a bit about the Leatherman Juice Pro. So I hope this guy, I hope this, not guide, I hope this video was very interesting to you guys and um, yeah, I, I really hope this video on YouTube will actually entice people to maybe give the juice line a try because I've, I've I've seen videos on people that hate on the juice line and I've pretty much only seen one video on the Leatherman Juice Pro which was like a 20 minute video and I hope this is not 20 minutes I'm gonna have to check the timer I might cut some things who knows but thank you very much for watching again I've been putting this up and down so many times I don't really want it to be standing up but I can there you go Thank you very much for watching this video on the Leatherman Juice Pro. This is 21 degrees Celsius, and I will see you next time. Peace.